Hi, my name is Atul Dev. I'm a principal product manager in the AWS Artificial Intelligence team. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about Amazon Connect Voice ID. Here's the agenda for today's discussion. We're going to get started with a quick overview of Amazon Connect. After that, we will dive deep into specific challenges faced by contact centers. And then we'll discuss how Amazon Connect Voice ID helps address these challenges. Amazon Connect is an easy to use cloud-based contact center service that helps companies of any size deliver exceptional customer care at lower cost. Amazon Connect was built from the ground up to be 100% cloud-based. Because of this, Amazon Connect can be set up in minutes and agents can start taking calls after just a few simple steps. Once set up, Amazon Connect has the flexibility to scale up and down at a moment's notice, depending on the demand from your customers. Contact flows allow you to create dynamic, personalized experiences for your end customers when they contact you. You can also use Amazon Lex to create conversational interactions that feel natural for your customers. Amazon Connect is an open platform that is simple to integrate with other enterprise applications to address specialized use cases for your business. You can leverage several AWS services and partners to quickly innovate and create delightful customer experiences with the Amazon Connect. There are over 170 AWS services and over 185 partner integrations with Amazon Connect that you can leverage as well. A core tenet to AWS is our consumption-based pricing model, which allows your business to focus on inventing and innovating the experience for your customers without having to worry about costly licensing models. You only pay for what you use. Now, Amazon Connect was launched in 2017, and we have continued a rapid pace of innovation during these three years. Recent launches include Contact Lens for Amazon Connect. Contact Lens uses machine learning to analyze customer calls and provide insights like sentiment, trends, and compliance of customer conversations. Amazon Lex now supports several new dialects and languages, including Spanish. Amazon Poly brings text to lifelike voices. Amazon Connect is available in seven regions around the world, including, including London, Frankfurt, Tokyo, Sydney, and Singapore. I would like to talk today about our one of our newest features, which is Amazon Connect Voice ID. We built this feature in response to a common customer question. How can I make my customer conversations in contact centers more secure and efficient? Contact centers today use a time-consuming authentication process that relies on a caller to answer multiple questions. Now, these questions require personal information, such as social security number, date of birth, and mother's maiden name. This process is also very costly and leads to poor customer experiences. Moreover, because it relies heavily on the personal information processed by the caller, malicious actors can commit fraud by making use of first stolen personal data from social media or data breaches. Finally, lack of any human intervention or human judgment in the IVR systems makes them a little bit more vulnerable for fraud. Because of this, businesses tend to limit the number of self-service options in these automated IVR systems as a result of which customers cannot do a lot of tasks that they would ideally want to do in a self-survey. All these challenges result in increased customer friction and higher customer service costs for businesses. Amazon Connect addresses all these challenges and provides real-time caller authentication, which makes voice interactions in contact centers more secure and efficient. Voice ID uses machine learning to analyze the caller's voice and unique characteristics such as tone, pitch, rhythm, and loudness, and many more. This allows, allows contact centers to use an additional security layer that doesn't rely on the caller answering multiple security questions and makes it easy to enroll and verify customers without changing the natural flow of their conversation. This is because Voice ID takes a passive enrollment and verification approach, which does not require customers to say or repeat any specific phrases or words to verify and enroll themselves. Voice ID can be used in the IVR to authenticate customers without any human intervention. The increased security in IVR empowers businesses to offer a wider range of self-service options to customers. 
Voice ID also provides a set of APIs that allow businesses to create a custom agent experience for verifying the caller's identity. Now let's talk about each of these in more detail. Voice ID requires two steps to authenticate, customer enrollment and customer verification. When a customer calls for the first time, the agent confirms the identity of the caller by using an extensive knowledge-based verification process. When the caller has opted in, the agent makes an enrollment request. Voice ID reuses 30 seconds of the caller's speech and creates the enrollment voice page. Now, what's a voice print? Voice print is a mathematical representation that implicitly captures unique aspects of the individual's voice, such as speech rhythm, pitch, intonation, and loudness, and many more. Now, when the enrolled customer calls back in, they can be verified through the IVR or during their interaction with an agent. Voice ID requires only 10 seconds of the call of speech this time to compare against the enrolled voice print and provide a real-time result, authenticated or not authenticated. Businesses can take additional steps, additional security measures, such as transferring the call to a fraud specialist if the caller fails to authenticate with voice ID. Now let's discuss the specific steps to use voice ID for verifying the customer's identity during an IVR interaction. You can get started with by using the set security behavior block in the beginning of your contact flow. This block starts streaming the customer portion of the audio to Voice ID. Voice ID uses a, a default uh, score threshold of 90. This is the threshold against which Voice ID provides authenticated or not authenticated decision. The default threshold provides a good balance between false positives and false negatives, commonly known as false accept rate and false reject rate. A higher authentication score threshold will lead to fewer false positives, but more false negatives. You can increase or decrease the authentication score threshold of 90 based on your security and business requirements. Now, Voice ID needs to know the identity of the caller whose identity needs to be verified, either for enrollment purposes or for verification purposes. To provide this information to Voice ID, you can create a simple Lambda function to pull up the unique customer ID of the caller from your CRM system based on the phone number or based on their response to common security questions in the IVR, such as enter your last four digits of your social security number. Then use the, the set contact attribute block to assign a value to the customer ID attribute. Voice ID uses this, uses this customer ID value to enroll a customer or verify the caller's claimed identity. Finally, the check security status blocks makes it easy for you to receive the voice analysis that includes one of the following status messages, authenticated, not authenticated, not enrolled, opted out, or inconclusive. Now, if the caller is already enrolled, Voice ID compares the caller's voice print with the enrolled voice print corresponding to the customer ID and returns a decision, returns an authentication score. If the authentication score is greater than or equal to the threshold, which was, as we discussed earlier, was 90 is the default, and you could have your own custom threshold, then check security status block will return the status authenticated. If voice ID does not have enough speech to make a decision, it will return inconclusive. Amazon Connect allows you to create intelligent routing in your contact center based on the res response from this block. For example, you can route a call to a customer service agent if the caller is not enrolled. This ability to use voice ID in the IVR allows businesses to offer more self-service options to their customers so that they don't have to wait in the line to talk to an agent. In addition to the IVR, voice ID also allows you to design a custom authentication experience for your agents. You can use the Amazon Connect Streams API to integrate voice ID in your existing web applications within Amazon Connect. The Streams API allows you to create an interface that makes it easy for agents to enroll the customer with a click of a button. You can also use the Streams API to create an experience that enables agents to view Voice ID's result in the IVR during the IVR interaction, or they can opt out a customer, or they can re-authenticate the caller again for whatever reason. Now my colleague Yasser is going to show you a quick demo of Voice ID. Hi, my name is Yasser al -Haggan and I lead our solutions architecture team for productivity applications. 
Today, I'm excited to show you a brief demonstration of Amazon Connect Voice ID. One of the exciting benefits of Amazon Connect Voice ID is that you can use the customer's voice as a second factor of authentication to securely expand the self-service options you provide your customers. It can also provide a more delightful customer experience once a customer connects to an agent, because the agent will need less information to authenticate the customer. Voice ID is powered by machine learning, but we've made it very simple to use. There are two new contact flow blocks we've introduced for Voice ID. The Set Security Behavior block is used to enable Voice ID for a given contact. With this block in the contact flow and voice authentication turned on, the customer audio begins streaming to Voice ID. It's also the block where you can set the Voice ID score threshold. Voice ID scores voice print matches from 0 to 100. And here you can set the threshold for what qualifies as authenticated. Higher thresholds will decrease false positives but increase false negatives. The default is set to 90. To authenticate callers in the IVR, we will need to tell Voice ID the customer identifier that was used when the customer enrolled their voice. To do that, we can use the existing Set Contact Attributes block to set the customer ID, which is a new system attribute we've added. Finally, there's the Check Security Status block. This block has a few branches that you can use to dynamically personalize the customer experience. You can use this block earlier in the contact flow to check to see if this customer has already been enrolled with Voice ID, or perhaps they've opted out. This lets you dynamically decide what self-service options to offer. For example, if you get a response of opted out, you might not offer self-service options that require a higher level of security. Another example is using the Check Security Status block to find out if the customer has been enrolled, and if so, use Amazon Connect's natural language understanding capabilities powered by Amazon Lex to ask the customer the reason for their call. We can then use that audio to check for the authentication status before completing the self-service task. We can do this by using the Check Security Status block again, and if enough audio has been collected at the time that this block is invoked, it will let you know if the caller is authenticated or not based on the threshold you've set in the security behavior block. If there hasn't been enough audio collected, the block will return inconclusive. You can then ask the customer another question to collect additional audio. I'll demonstrate this idea in just a minute, but first, let's take a look at the agent experience. Voice ID has a few features that agents will interact with. We know that your agent desktop space is extremely valuable. So we've exposed the Voice ID functionality with the Contact Control Panel Streams API. This makes it very flexible to customize how the agent interacts with Voice ID. Here's an example. With just a little bit of JavaScript, we can customize the agent experience and place Voice ID buttons where it makes the most sense for your agent's desktop. We also plan on providing an out-of-the-box widget as part of our GA launch for Voice ID that you can use natively or embed directly in your application if you don't wish to do any customization. Once a contact is connected, the Enroll button will start the Voice ID enrollment process and create a voice print, which takes about 30 seconds. Over here, we can display the enrollment or verification status. You also have the Opt Out button. This lets Voice ID track that this customer has opted out. Finally, there's an Evaluate function that an agent can invoke to authenticate the existing session, meaning any audio that has been collected up until this point, including the IVR. Or they can choose a new session, letting Voice ID know to use audio from this point forward for authentication. Okay, now that I've explained all that, let's take a listen to how this can all come together. I'll call in and attempt a transfer from my savings account to my checking account. The chatbot will confirm I'm calling from a number on file and try to process my request. If the value of my transfer is too high, the chatbot will request additional information and use Voice ID as a second factor of authentication. After I'm done, I'll request a transfer to an agent. Here we go. Welcome to our demo call center, yes sir. How can I help you? I'd like to transfer $5,000 from my savings account to my checking account. Sure, I can help you with that. But that transfer is more than I'm allowed to approve without additional authentication. I see you are enrolled in voice ID. I need just a little more audio from you to tell if it's really you. Can you please tell me your email address on file? 
Sure. It's uh, Y-A-S-S-E-R dot D-E-M-O one, two, three at gmail.com. Great. I have authenticated you using your voice as a second factor of authentication and processed that request for you. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, I'd like to talk to an agent, please. As the agent answers the call, Incoming contact authenticated with voice ID. Amazon Connect can play an audible notification, letting the agent know that the customer has already been authenticated. Here we can see that the voice ID API is returning a status of enrolled. If the agent wishes, they can click evaluate and reevaluate the audio that has been collected so far. We can see that voice ID is showing a successful authentication status. If the customer were to request to be opted out of voice ID, all the agent has to do is click opt out and voice ID will track that this customer has opted out. Finally, if the agent wants to start a new authentication session and reevaluate new audio, they can click new session and evaluate. Voice ID will then listen for new customer audio for authentication. This can come in handy if the agent feels there is suspicious activity. I hope you've enjoyed this overview and demonstration of Amazon Connect Voice ID. Thank you. Thanks, Yasser, for the demo. If you're interested in learning more about the other new Amazon Connect launches, please take a look at these sessions. We also have an amazing lineup of Amazon Connect customer and partner sessions. Now, if you haven't tried Amazon Connect yet, you can sign up for free uh, by logging into the AWS console today. Once you are up and running, you can sign up for Voice ID Preview. We will then review your information and respond to let you know when you can start using these features. Finally, we have a number of great resources to help you deploy and optimize Amazon Connect, like our new training modules, or you can get help from one of our partners or an AWS IQ expert. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed today's presentation.